Right, uh, hello all, and uh, welcome back. A uh, few people asked me to, well, I should anyway, provide the source code to the Arch Mid ISO build, so I have, and it's uploaded on GitHub, or GitHub, on, I'll post the address. Uh, you can do what you wish with this, okay? Uh, if you have an account, you can uh, create an account and log in. It's free uh, for everyone to use. So, uh, strongly recommend if you want to try this out uh, it said clone or download don't download the zip file it will just 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 give you too many uh, headaches so you can either select this or just select all and just copy the clipboard and make sure you have git installed so sudo pacman dash capital s or an alias git and I already have it installed but uh, make sure you have that so just uh, once it's installed just git clone and then uh, you can right click and paste or control shift V and it's uh, about 170 or so megabytes so just give that a few minutes to download okay so it's uh it is compressed uh, as well and then it decompresses when it's downloaded into your home folder so you can close out the whatever browser you're using go to your home folder and there it is there and properties now it's uh, 178.2 megs okay uh, first thing to do there's a few things you have to do is the custom repo just uh, select uh, copy and again cut go back to your home folder and right click and paste that in okay make sure it's not with the arch ISO folder it's in a separate folder and a custom repo contains uh, what I have for the arch build uh, as you can see here Google Chrome uh, ultra flat icons Yow art and so on uh, the next step is to make this root okay the owner as root so open a terminal here okay as you can see I'm in basically your home folder and then just type in sudo ch own a dash capital R uh, root and then a colon root oh I'm sorry <laughs> yeah uh, do that again and then the arch mid dash ISO sorry about that and control uh, just close that down just right click and properties and permissions and verify that it's root read and write uh, group is root it's read only others read only and uh, those permissions should be fine now the next thing now is you have to do everything as root and we have to edit the only thing you have to do to get this to work um, open a terminal here sudo leadpad pacman Oh, yeah, there's more than one there. Pacman man dot config conf page all the way down to the bottom in your text editor or whatever you're using. And where it has custom repo and a server file and then the slashes, change it to your username and that's it. Save and close. Obviously, I wouldn't do that because that is my username. Okay, and of course, make sure you have Arch ISO installed so sudo pacman dash capital s arch iso and again i don't have that installed and uh, another step is sudo leadpad slash usr bin mk arch iso uh, press control f to find and look for a pack strap and there it is there and you have to include i've already done this a, a dash i beside the C here there's a C and a dash I and then both lines there's only two lines so both of them have a dash I for basically interactive and save and close that and then uh, inside the folder make sure as root you just run sudo dot sorry a dot slash build dot sh dash v 
And this will go out and synchronize the mirrors again. And it'll take quite a while, depending on your connection, of course, to download the packages. Now, I believe I have them all downloaded in the Pac-Man cache, so we'll just go through and verify packages. So just keep pressing enter and let it check the, um, the integrity, key rings, the package files, and so on. And so every time you're prompted, just keep pressing enter and then eventually you'll end up with uh, your Arch Mid ISO, which you can do anything you want with. You can remove packages or whatever you want. And if you're on uh, Git, just uh, do a fork with your username and that's it. And you can uh, use it from your own um, Git repository. So I'll be back when this is finished. This will take a few minutes. So with any luck, uh, you'll be at the very end of this and uh, the Make Arch ISO is done. You can see it's 712 megabytes, or maybe you can't see, I'll zoom in. And the label and the ISO, which is in the out directory now. Uh, there's two new directories, a work directory and out. So out contains the ISO image. And you can copy or move that to another drive or something or uh, place it on a USB drive and or use VirtualBox. Uh, what I should mention though, um, this is very CPU intensive. Uh, if I scroll up, um, parallel MK squash FS using six processors. So I have a six core AMD. Uh, so what, what I would suggest if you can is uh, open or just, well, in the whatever, in a terminal, just a sudo leadpad uh, Etsy make pkg.conf and there's uh, what I got used to is this is commented out here make flags if you use the uh, gen 2 you probably know this anyway it's usually uh, commented out with a ja and it's just ja dash g2 alright so what you do is you add one to whatever how many cores you have if you're using 64 bit you probably have a few cores so if you're using four you just make it five and uncomment so I have six so I just add one to make that seven you go down to the build environment and this usually is commented out like so temp make and make it put pkg or package so just uncomment that and then finally go down to where it has the compress X Z or Z uh, type in a dash capital T and the number of cores you have. So in my case, it's six. Save and close. So I'm not going to keep changes to that. All right. So that should help uh, building uh, your Arch Mid uh, ISO or whatever you want to call it. You can call it anything you want. As I said, you can add, remove packages, which are in here. Uh, packages uh, both. And there you go. So if you want something like Firefox, you can, you know, just comment and put uh, web browsers or web browser, whatever you wish in here. I strongly recommend, though, if you want to redistribute this, is to make sure you have all the open source video drivers so people can start. And for VirtualBox, make sure you have VirtualBox guest art modules arch, not the DKMS, okay? Uh, those will just... You don't have to download the Arch Linux headers or anything. And of course, the VirtualBox guest utils. You don't have to do anything now. You just, it'll just run in the background. And if it detects that you're not using a VirtualBox, it'll come up and say, oh, well, I'm not going to run because you're not using VirtualBox. And that's about it. Okay. And for the installer, uh, make sure you have these packages. If you want to use the installer from Duff which is uh, in right here and it's under ABIF and finally of course Arch Linux wouldn't be Arch Linux if there wasn't a snag somewhere and I have no idea yet what's causing it Gparted uh, is getting a connection uh, timeout for some reason I don't know why so I'll demonstrate that so just give me a second okay well it didn't happen this time uh, pseudo G part of device STA it comes right up uh, earlier it was saying uh, um, no connection or t uh, connection timeout sorry 
Uh, it could be uh, that I don't have a uh, UEFI or EFI motherboard. I just removed the uh, uh, EFI tools. Maybe that's what's causing the problem. I'm not sure. So just be aware of that issue if it comes up um, with the installer. Okay. So just experiment and have fun and uh, let me know what you think. And I said, feel free to add anything you want or change, delete, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, but I thought I should, you know, at least put the source code up so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So I think that should cover it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.